it's Malibu Mula, and today we are going to install a wig from Outre's Perfect Hair Line. The color I got is 1B, my natural color hair. It's a 13 by 6 wig, and I think it's 22 or 24 inches. I don't know. It was $54. I'm going to put it in the description below. It did not come with a wig cap, so I had to use my own. Good thing I have some left, because girl, it did not come with a wig cap. But this is the wig. Ooh. It's given like wet and wavy type, you know, you know, you know, you know. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and part of the Malibu gang. Hang with the gang. You a lame because you know you want to come hang with the fam you like. And make sure you turn on your post notifications. Okay? So, this wig has three clips on it, an elastic band, and it's an HD lace. So I'm just gonna show y'all the lace right here. So as I'm installing this wig, I'm going to give y'all a little life update. Right now, as you see, I'm just oiling my head because you gotta make sure your head is oiled before you put on the wig. Because you know, if you're gonna keep this wig on for a long time, you need to oil that head so it doesn't be itchy. So let me talk to y'all. I feel like I haven't gave y'all like a whole life update on me, and y'all are my family, so I feel like I should up, I should update y'all. So, let's get into it. So, first thing first, I just want to say thank you guys for following me, subscribing to me. 1.45K right now. Like, I had never thought I would have got this far with YouTube. So, clap it up for y'all for really rocking with your girl. Like, thank you so much. I appreciate everyone who stay up with my videos, likes my videos, comments. Like, I appreciate y'all so much. People don't understand, like, I do this YouTube shit for real. Like, I do YouTube because YouTube has helped me get out of depression. And, like, I love YouTube. I love my channel. Like, I just love y'all in general. So, thank y'all so much for rocking with your girl for so long. So, speaking of mental and depression, I am opening up a new business. Yes, this is your girl's third business. You know, they say three times is the best, okay? I got it tatted on me, 333. Three, three. So, you know, they say you do it the third time, it might be a winner. So, I am opening a business, like I said. And this business is really, really important to me. Like... It's called Me Bath Time. If you haven't followed the Instagram for it, make sure you go follow the Instagram for it. The link will be in the description below. And where I am making soap bars and bath bombs because, you know, baths help me with my mental health so much. Like, that's like my self-care time. That's me time. Me bath time. That's where the name goes. Me is my internal bath time eternal means forever so it's basically like my internal bath time this is my time my me time like my peace this is forever my time and i post motivational and self-care posts because you have to remember to take care of yourself even when you are in all this mumbo jumbo and i'm really big on mel i'm really big on mental health awareness that's like something I'm really heavy on. I have a lot of friends and family who is going through a lot and they come to me or I come to them about what's been going on in my life and how my mental health is crazy. So this is one way that yes, I'm be selling like bath products, but also reminding people to love themselves, take time for yourself. So this is something that's really important to me as to why I'm taking my time with this. I really want to make sure my products are A1. I want to make sure I have everything before I just hop right into it. Because that was a problem with my first business. Like, I just hopped right into it. And because I was like, oh, I'm making money. But, no. <laughs> and the thing about it, Uncle Sam took most of my taxes. So, that's a downfall with the business. But it's like, you know what? I don't really care because this is important to me. So that wouldn't even matter to me. My second business, my clothing business, it was cool or whatever, but like it had so many ups and downs. This, I'm taking my time with this. So far, I did give samples to people with soaps and they like them so far. So like it's really giving me high hopes and I can't wait to go on this journey with me bath time. Like I said, follow the page, the description, the link will be in the description. 
Y'all know I be talking, talking. I be talking, 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 talking. And my words be mumble jumbo sometimes because sometimes I talk before I think. So, yeah. So, the next thing that's been going on with me is your girl don't have a love life and I don't want a love life. Let me tell y'all the tea. Kick your feet up and get your drinks because, nah, I'm not gonna sit here and bash nobody. But literally, I was in a situation and I literally moved on from it and I feel good. Like, once you actually get over a person, like, over a person, like, them talking to you, affecting you, doesn't even get you back in your feelings. Like, I feel like I have grown so much where it's like, I know what I want, and if a person can't give that to me, then I'm gonna just move on. <laughs> like, there's really no point of staying with somebody if they're not giving you what you need and want and desire like you know f history f what you got with the person f the bond like no because you could be stuck here or you could move on with your life and find better you feel me so yeah so with my love life i've really just been chilling like chilling 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 because most dudes nowadays they just want sex and like i kid y'all not y'all like sex is boring to me now like Sex is so boring because it's like, it's so easy to get nowadays. And it's just like, if I'm really horny, I can just hit up any dude. Literally any dude and they be like, okay. Like, that is so whack. Like, ew. Like, that means you just be having sex with anything, anybody that calls you. And it's just like, ugh. And then with the HIV, STD, it's just like, ugh. I'm all set. Like, I don't even want to be a part of that. Like, and I explained that to dudes too. Like, if all you want to do is bang showing, then get out of my face. Because there's more to life than banging and showing. Especially because the type of person I am. Like, I can't have sex with you unless I have an emotional connection with you. So, like, you could be the finest thing ever. But this waterfall won't get wet if I don't have, like, some type of connection with you. Like, no. Just no. It won't. It just won't work. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm living my best single life, like, pretty much, like, just doing what I do best. So, yeah. Also, if you didn't know, I'm certified as a teacher, guys. Yay! I am certified as a teacher now. So, y'all probably like, okay, girl, but what does that mean? Why are we excited? We're excited because, one, I actually got a certificate for something. No, it's not a degree, but it's a certificate for something. And I always tell people, like, I always bring this up. Like, I dropped out of college in 2020. It's 2022 when your girl is certified as a teacher. Like, that just goes to show you, like, just because you have a fallout does not mean you ain't gonna come back stronger and you know I really thought I couldn't do classes like I literally thought I couldn't do it but I did it like I literally did it and now I'm sort of as a teacher so like at my job it's just it's just been going well it's just been going well for me with this whole field I'm like okay this is a career that I was meant to do like I love being a teacher I love teaching kids I love coming up with lesson plans I love just getting to know the kids like it's just amazing being a teacher because like it's just so fun it's fun like it has its hard days I'm not even gonna cap like it has its hard days but other than that, it's real cool. Like, I have a bond with all my students. And, you know, they have a bond with me. They're always ready to play, to learn. It's just good, you know. So, I'm glad I got my certificate for that. So, that's one thing your girl has been up to lately. Also, with YouTube, y'all, so when it comes to YouTube, your girl's really trying to get monetized this year. Y'all know I do YouTube not for the money. I don't care for the money. But I just feel like because I've been in the game for so long, I just feel like it's time for me to be monetized. Like, it's just time for me to really take this serious. So, I, I 
Your girl has been really trying to stick to the schedule. I have seen a lot of other YouTubers that I watch and they have like a real schedule, like a schedule. And I feel like when you're a YouTuber, when you have a schedule, people expect you to drop that day so they're aware and they're ready to watch your um, channel. So if you didn't know, I haven't realized, sorry, I had a burp. My dropping video schedules is Sunday and Thursday at 3 p.m. And so far it's been good. So far I've been really going with my schedule at all. Like I've really been going. Okay, so that's a new thing. Like dropping at the on these two days. I'm giving y'all different content because I'm really trying to see like what y'all like. Like I know y'all like the clothing hauls. I know y'all love the story times. And I know y'all like the vlogs, but I'm really trying to just, you know, dip my toes in different type of videos and different contexts because I just want to see what y'all like. Like, even here, like, I'm installing a whole wig. Like, yeah, I have other videos of me installing a wig, but I haven't done this type of video in a long time where I'm like, okay, I want to do it and give y'all a life update because I know when I watch hair videos and if they're not talking or doing something, I get bored. So this is why I decided to talk to y'all. But yeah, I just feel like it's just time for me to get monetized. So this is why I've been dropping like crazy. And shout out to my sis, Destiny. Let me tell y'all about my sis, Destiny. Like, my sis always watch my videos. Don't get me wrong. Everybody else watch my videos too. But my sis, she always tells me out of the blue, my girl, yeah, editing has been getting so good. No, 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 like, she's been telling me this for so long. Where it pushes me to even go home harder with my editing like when I say harder harder because if she notices that my editing has been going harder she's gonna tell me and that makes me so happy because y'all when it comes down to editing I spend like three hours like editing like I literally go through the whole video cut out what I don't want then go through the whole video adding like the words effects animation then i go through the whole video and see if everything and the time is all good then i go through the whole video try to pick a song then i watch the whole video like it's a lot being a youtuber but i love the editing process because it's just me and my content really trying to make it the best the best the best for y'all okay oh look at that i look so real Period. It looks so pretty too. Oh, she's giving y'all different looks. Oh, she's giving y'all different looks. Hold on. She says side. Oh, the side. Oh, you can even put it in a ponytail too. Like what? Y'all, I got like a peanut head low key. Like I just experienced, I just realized that I have a peanut head. <laughs> like I really do have a peanut head. And y'all know another reason why I haven't really been posting like wig content because one, I haven't been wearing wigs like that. And two, because people always got something to say about my wigs, but they have to understand, like, I'm learning how to install wigs with my low hairline. Like, if you know, my hairline is low. Like, I have a box hairline. So when it comes to wigs, because wigs are so, like, not like that, it takes me a while to install wigs because, you know, my hairline is a box. Like, I have to work with it. So, like, the lace glue in my hair and all that. And that's kind of the reason why I stopped wearing wigs, too. Because it was just, like, a very, very irritating process for me. Especially because when I was, like, wearing... I was wearing different wigs back to back, back to back, back to back. It was just so irritating. But because I haven't worn a wig in a long time, I was excited to do this. So, yeah. But that's what I was talking about. So, yeah, that's why I've been really going hard with YouTube, trying to give y'all different content, because things are just, things are just, I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know how to say it, but I'm just trying to go hard on YouTube, and that's it. <laughs> like, that's really it. So, another thing, too, guys, is I'm trying to go out more. And when I mean by go out more, I'm trying to be outside. A lot of people don't know I have seasonal depression. And what's seasonal depression? Seasonal depression is literally when you are depressed during like 
winter <laughs> because after my like literally when it's my birthday and after my birthday like I get in this mood because it's dark it's gloomy it's cold like I really don't be wanting to do anything like I'm good at painting my face like with a smile but really I'd be so sad but now because like the weather's getting nice I don't have to wear big coats no more like I'm happy and you know it's hard having seasonal depression because like you really can't pull yourself out of it but like I was dodging so many people during the winter because it's like I like being home and you know if you have not noticed like I've been having a lot of people at my house to do collabs and you know my home is my special place so it's like I was okay with doing that but like going out oh your girl was not doing that in the winter because like what is cold it's just like uh, 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 no but now because it's getting nice so I want to be out more so I'm so excited because I did not give y'all a rolling loud video even though I filmed it but I just didn't like it because it was like two months after the whole rolling loud it was just so stupid but this time I'm really gonna film for y'all so I'm going to Lotto's concert y'all I love Lotto I've been following her ever since she was Miss Mulatto on the rap game we went through the Miss Mulatto, Mulatto, Lotto. Like, I was there through all three chapters of her life. And I'm so excited. Y'all know she dropped 7-7. Seven, seven. Go get it now if you did it. You better go listen to that John, okay? I'm so excited to see her. So I'm prepared for that. My girl, Addie, nailed it. She's just shipped off my nails for the concert. So I'm going to show y'all that too. I'm ordering this cute wig that I found on Amazon. I can't wait for y'all to see it. I think the only person I showed was my best friend. Yeah, I showed her. Because she was like, oh, that's different. I'm like, yeah, you got girl. You know, I'm trying to say it out for a lot. I want her to know this me because I'm going to be ah, right in the front. So y'all going to see the whole preparation for that. Also, I'm thinking about showing y'all how I'm gonna do my family's Easter baskets. I feel like that's so cute for y'all to see me do their Easter baskets because I'm really trying to do their Easter baskets this year. So, yeah. And I'm also gonna be filming me at this club. They're having this D this Disney DJ. I don't know if y'all seen the trend on TikTok, but a lot of people was like, oh, we should have like a Disney club. So, be my guest, be our guest, is coming to my city. And I'm so excited because y'all know I love me some Disney Channel and I'm about to be living my best life with the people who love Disney Channel too. And this is my way to like network, meet new friends, you know? And that's what I've really been trying to do. Like I'm really trying to be out more, meet new people. I'm not saying that everybody you meet is gonna be your bestie or your friend. It could be your enemy, shit. But you know, you're meeting people. Plus, I'm a YouTuber, so it's like, you know, I gotta get myself out there. Plus, I'm trying to have a business, so you know, I'm trying to get myself out there. And yeah, sorry if I sound stuffy, y'all. Like, my nose is stuffy because apparently I have allergies now. Apparently, a girl got allergies now. I don't know where the fuck that happened because I've never had allergies before, but now I do. So. But my nose always been stuffy whenever it's been like cold one day, hot one day. Like I always been like that. But anyway. So yeah. Now let's get into my weight. Y'all, this time last year, I was losing weight like crazy. Like I was losing weight like crazy. I gained so much weight in the winter time, which is very true. My past history of my weight, I always gain weight in the winter and I lose it spring, summer. But now I'm really trying to change that. So let me tell y'all what I've been doing. So I have been fasting, but this is how I've been doing it. So I've been fasting from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. I get ready for work at like 6.30. So I don't eat nothing until like 10. Because the way I do it is when I wake up, take my shower, whatever, whatever. Eight o'clock, I don't even eat nothing. I just drink water. And literally, I have two meals a day. So it's either, I'm never skipping dinner. <laughs> I love me some dinner. But it's either I skip breakfast or lunch. So one day I may skip breakfast, one day I may skip lunch. If I eat breakfast, I skip lunch. 
if I skip breakfast, I eat lunch, you see? But it's always through like a six hour type thing. So even today, today is Sunday the 27th. I woke up around like 10. I had like breakfast around like 11. I'm probably not gonna eat until like five. So like, that's how I do it. And if I have lunch, usually I have lunch at work. I usually have lunch around like whenever my break is. So sometimes my break is like one or two. I won't eat until six or I won't eat until seven. And I take my time eating, but I know like I have to be done eating my food by 8 p.m.